Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Daina Kadavos, your competency assessor for bread and pastry production and C2. Before that, I would like to acknowledge the presence of the processing officer, Mr. Cruz, and our AC manager, Ms. Reyes, the now provincial representative, Ms. Luzada. Good afternoon, ma'am, sir. Not to worry about their presence. They are just here to oversee if the conduct of competency assessment is in accordance with the procedures and methodologies of TESDA. They are not here to assess you. Before we start, kindly submit your admission slip. Thank you. Thank you. As I call your name, please acknowledge and sign the attendance sheet. Mary Antoinette Amplayo, please sign the attendance sheet. Kimberly Garza, please sign the attendance sheet. Thank you. I have here with me your accomplished application form with self-assessment guide. This is an indication that you can perform all units of competency enumerated in this qualification. I would like to welcome all of you to our assessment center for your assessment in bread and pastry production and C2. The purpose of this assessment is to determine the level of your competency. The qualification or units of competency to be assessed are composed of basic, common, and the core competency. For our core competencies, we have, we will perform, prepare, and produce bakery products, prepare and produce pastry products, prepare and present the gato, torts, and cakes, prepare and display petit four, and present desserts. The different tasks to be performed to, for our bread and pastry production and C2 is performing produced bakery products, prepare and produce pastry products, prepare and present the gato, torts, and cakes, prepare and display PT4, and present desserts. I will collect evidence through demonstration, oral questioning, and written test. This assessment method can help me show your underpinning knowledge and skills. For your personal needs, the comfort room is located at the end of the hallway. If you want to take your meal, we have canteen outside of the assessment center. However, during the assessment, you are not allowed to leave the premises of the assessment center. If you have difficulty in understanding the given instruction, please don't hesitate to call my attention because I'm willing to explain and translate it for you. If you have concerns, questions, and there's a need for you to clarify the matter concerning the assessment, you may ask for, I am willing to assess you. But once the assessment started, please refrain from asking questions so it's no longer allowed. In case you have any question regarding the assessment result, you have the right to appeal. You can submit your appeal to the TESDA Provincial Office, where the assessment center and the assessor are accredited. If you have passed the assessment and you are competent, for the issuance of national certificate, you can claim it at the provincial office after five working days after the assessment. If found not competent, don't worry about it. You can re reassess anytime at your own convenience. In case the reassessment is full qualification, you have to undergo the whole pro assessment process. If found to be competent in some unit of competencies, the reassessment will just focus on the unit of competencies that you are found to be not yet competent. If you fail to consec two consecutive assessments, you are advised to take a refresher course before applying for reassessment. For occupational health and safety requirements, kindly observe cleanliness and your personal protective equipment. If in case accident occur, please call my attention right away so that the proper first aid will be administered. In case you need a first aid, we have a first aid cabinet at the right side of the hallway. With the result of your assessment, we observe strict confidentiality. This is to ensure your integrity. This result is only made available to the right personnel and to the institution where you had your actual training. In relation to this, the assessment package is placed in a secure place to guarantee the integrity of the assessment package. Please do away from giving any form of information that took place in the assessment process. If 
if you don't have any question or clarification, then I am going to give you a copy of specific instruction. Please read them carefully. You have questions? Please ask it now. I may be able to translate it to English to your local dialect. If you need assistance, I will be more than willing to assist you. So you are candidate number one. Thank you, ma'am. Candidate number two. Candidate number one, please proceed to the assessment area while other candidates, you may stay here. Okay, ma'am. 